Hello everyone. So today we are going to study how to work with destroy method in Laravel. So with this, I'm going to create a route first, and that is a route with a delete method, and uh, we are going to have post and ID. The ID over here resembles the ID with the database ID, but uh, which is requested by the user. And with this, I'm saying that post controller and destroy method. So destroy method should be called from the post controller with also I'm uh, specifying over here that uh, there is a named route named as posts dot destroy. With this, I'm going to create a good form that is a form HTML form inside the index method. For that, I'm going to open the index.blade.php and alongside I'm also testing my good module with uh, artisan serve command and you can see that entire posts are displayed over here. This is what we have accomplished till now but I want to insert a delete or drop me button below the excerpt. Fine. So over here I'm going to say that uh, say for example I have a form and that is a post request that is method equal to post and I want to call some um, destroy method that we have worked on and pass the id to it after which i want to also i have to also add the csrf method remember that whenever you use a post method you must create a in csrf uh, directives too but before that let's create some beautiful button for it and uh, that button will be used to delete this thing so i'm using balma class styles to display the button that is buttons are round and are small and this is the group button class and into which I am just going to use uh, I think so let's create an input button input type equal to submit and this input type submit will be used to submit my form fine so let's do that alongside let me check if I can have a class to it yes we can have a class so we are going to also use balma class that is button and over here um, first and foremost thing this is our button this is our post at the rest csrf which i already talked about and yes method is delete not post fine so i am just freaking out the entire stuff from post to delete so that laravel will understand that it's a delete request and not post request fine so uh, this is our uh, with button is danger. Fine. So if you are deleting uh, using this button, it's slightly danger. That's what I wanted to save using this thing. So alongside, I'm going to create is round. So let me clear it out to some extent that I might have done it in a small manner. Okay. And this will give me a value drop me rather than a simple submit button so it's new uh, huge and new uh, nice small tiny teeny button <laughs> okay so again you can see when I click on it it says destroyed method does not exist in the post so now using this error we need to learn that we also have to create a destroy method inside the post control so i'm going to click create public function destroy and also going to pass dollar id fine and this id let's dump die and debug the entire stuff refreshing it and it should give me the value 2 why because the address bar has the value 2 fine say for example if uh, for example kde plasma has a value 4 fine so it will dump die and display uh, debug the value 4 so everything is working fine in this manner I am going to create a uh, fetch a post with the similar ID which has been selected or been passed using our post method so dumb die and debug will show me the entire messages over here and that's cool that's really cool after which let's see if I can get one more step ahead of time that is if I go and say that I want 
to delete this thing that is the post file then it will be really really grateful so over here i am saying that dollar post should be deleted after which i'll be redirecting this entire stuff to some else location so that i can see that it's working or not so i'm redirecting uh, redirecting it to posts.index and if i refresh you can see post number four id number four will be deleted and we are once again getting redirected to some other location also um, don't you think we should also add a delete button below this post that is below the body text that has been displayed and you can see if i say drop me it will delete so this easy and this is the fantastic way of working in laravel fine and it's such an easy tool to work with that you can you do not have to fire any other uh, sql commands just use eloquent model and there you go so as i said earlier let's add some good functionality over here too that is add button that is create button over here inside the index method index blade because i thought I sh it should be there in, in a way so as to create some good post fine so let's create that also um, so over here i'm just creating a column with uh, two and having an offset 10 that is it will leave the 10 block size and will be utilizing two block size for the button and this button is nothing but uh, a tag that is anchor tag and this anchor tag also contains add me button fine so it will be displaying it in a cute and a nice and a cozy manner and i think so we should also add uh, href tag but let's first find it out how it looks so over here you can see it's good and nice and fashionable stuff present over here let's go with is primary and is small I think so primary will be good. I haven't tasted it out. Let's taste it out. Okay, so it is a small and is primary, but it's not looking that good. So let's go to Balma and look for some other colors also. Um, I think so. We should go on. Okay, so you can see link is a good color. So rather than is primary, let me go with is link because it's not having a good color. To add a new concept, let's go with link and you can see there are different colors and different styles and different uh, round shapes and all that that you need it. You can change the color, you can do whatever you like it. Find this the normal, this is an over and below contains the focus buttons and that's it for now. Fine, so whatever you like it, let's go with is focused and uh, let's go over here too with is focused so as to have a good look to it. Let's see if it is done. Yes, it's done. So this is slightly focused and the buttons over here, drop me buttons and all these short notice buttons are now good to go. So with this let's see one more stuff okay href fine so href that means if anybody clicks on this button it should give me hyperlink reference of create route and this will redirect me to the uh, entire html form of creating a button so if i refresh and select that button it goes to add your post here and that's good fine so everything is working good and fantastic and judgmentally nice and good anyways so over here you can see i can delete i can create i have a good hyperlinks references and uh, yes the entire things are now going in a correct manner so this is the code that we have written till date and we are still looking forward so once more i'm just going to copy this thing and what if i want to insert inside the show blade too fine so below this body text 
I want this form tag to be there and that is if what if I want to delete the this entire post fine so there should be some option to so I'm giving or providing a good option of deleting this uh, entire stuff from the post itself so you can see this is the post okay let's once again go inside the post and if I scroll down you can find a drop me button but I think so there should be a bigger size of the drop me button because it's too small in a way okay so you can see drop me button and rather than I want to remove this small and then let's have a look so basically it will also work the same way as it was working in index blade and this will give me a new functionality that I can also delete the new uh, the post that I have selected it fine so this is what we are actually looking for so this form is used to delete or destroy the post fine okay so anyways uh, thank you all for coming to my session and yes I hope you like my series of Laravel I hope you will all uh, like share subscribe my channel if you have any comments uh, questions do comment me below thank you all bye bye